Monte Carlo simulations. What are they and how are they useful to us? Well, I think the best way to illustrate what a Monte Carlo simulation is, is through an example. So let us consider a basketball player with a success rate for free throws of 70%. What are the odds that he makes at least 70 of 100 shots? Well, one way to do that is to find a basketball player in real life and see if he has a free throw shooting percentage of, of 70% and have him shoot 100 shots a, a large number of times and take the average of whether or not he successfully made at least 70 shots and, and come up with a probability. Now, that in essence, is what a Monte Carlo simulation is. So, so let's build this out in Python and take a closer look. For starters, we'll import NumPy. And as I mentioned, we would have the basketball player shoot 100 free throws a large number of times. So in this case, our large number is just gonna be 10,000. So we'll create a for loop running from zero to 10,000. And we're gonna have him shoot 100 shots every trial. So every iteration, he's gonna be shooting 100 shots. Now we need some way of recording within the trial if he made at least 70 shots. So we're gonna create a list called shots made. And now that we have a way of recording whether or not he made the shot, we need to be able to randomly generate whether or not he made the shot. So we're gonna use NumPy for this. We're gonna say r is equal to mp.random.random, .random, which is gonna generate a decimal between zero and one inclusive. And if the random decimal is less than or equal to 0.7, well, since he had a free throw shooting percentage of 70%, he made it. So we will append one to the shots made list. On the flip side, if the percentage is greater than 0.7, I'm sorry, if the decimal is greater than 0.7, then he missed. So we will append a zero. Now, after he shoots all 100 shots, we need to determine if the sum of all the shots that he made is greater than or equal to 70. So we'll create an if statement outside of the 100 shots, and we'll say if the sum of shots made is greater than or equal to 70, we need to append one to a list outside of all of the trials. So we'll create a new list called aggregate shots made, and we will append one if he made greater than or equal to 70 shots within that trial. And just as before, if he did not, then he obviously did not make the 70 shot minimum. <clears throat> so we will append zero. And that's pretty much it. So to find the probability of him making at least 70 out of 100 shots, all we have to do is print the average of the aggregate shots made list. And after running this, we get 0.556. And if you keep running it, you're gonna get a couple of different, you know, some, some margin of error. But as the number of trials increases, the probability converges to the true probability. And, and this makes sense if you think about it, right? So if he has a free throw shooting success rate of 70%, then he will make seven out of 10 free throws on average, implying that if this follows a, a standard normal distribution, 50% of the data approximately will be below the mean and 50% will be above. And, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Appro approximately 50 55% of the time, he is making the 70 shot minimum. So this is just one example of a, an implementation of a Monte Carlo simulation. And what we're actually gonna do in, in later videos is apply this concept to generating sample paths for geometric Brownian motion as seen in the previous video. So we're gonna use that to assist in pricing different financial derivatives and it is going to be pretty awesome.